Hey friends, this is Dr. Diane from the Discovery Museum and I'm here with our favorite guy, Mr. Mark. Hi, Mark, what are you doing out there? Um, somebody said go fly a kite and I said okay. I will. And so here I am flying the kite on the roof. Tell us a little bit about the construction of this kite. It's a single piece of paper, two staples, and some thread. And you can make this yourself really easy. Uh, we'll have the instructions uh, sent your way. So, but look how nice this flies. Can you bring it down so we can get a close-up look at it, Mr. Mark? Very aerodynamic. And it's very acrobatic as well. Okay, one square piece of paper, folded only halfway down, stapled little way we got to keep these round these are your nostrils your air this is technically an airfoil is what it's called but notice how the back the curves are nice and smooth if you don't have staples can you use tape no staples is what you are notice how the string is to the staple uh it'll tear right through tape okay and if you don't have up. string can you use yarn no it's what right. if thread only thread only yeah yarn is too heavy and to fly, you just toss it up in the air and let the wind do the rest. You don't have to run around. See? Look at that. Let the breeze catch it. During the summer, I fly these in Old Town on the street corner. And uh, people will slow down to take a look at this guy flying these little paper pipes. And you can check out the directions on the Shenandoah Valley Discovery Museum blog. Yep. So take some pictures of yourself flying a kite and share them with us. Yeah, so if anybody says, go fly a kite, you can say, okay, I will. <laughs>